said, you know, I gave you a name that does not exist. That was your first mess up. You shouldn't have let me in on a name that doesn't, with a child that doesn't um, attend to the school. And you New have six, a Freetown mother says she is furious after she was able to easily breach her child's school security and gain access to the children while using a fake name. That mom tells us that she spent 25 minutes in the halls of a Poniquit Regional High School before revealing her true motive. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. While some parents are applauding her effort to reveal the security weaknesses, others say it was the wrong approach. WBZ's Tiffany Chan has the story all new at 6. We want accountability. We want action taken. Frustrated mothers in the Freetown Lakeville Regional School District say they don't feel safe sending their kids to school. The superintendent notified families Thursday that a parent entered three schools using fake names to test how easy it would be to get into these buildings. I called the superintendent to say, mm -hmm. hey, your safety protocols are not good. Kayla Farris Churchill says she's been complaining about school safety for months, but nothing's been done by the school committee or town. So she took matters into her own hands by testing Freetown Elementary School, where her son is a student. I um, buzzed myself in and I said, hi, I'm here to, um, to sign my son, Kayla Montero, into the building. And that's not my son's name. So she let me in. Ferris Churchill says she was able to roam the building unsupervised along with two other high schools in the district with ease. It wasn't to try to make anyone scared or to try to upset anybody. She wanted to make a point and other parents believe the bold move highlights how unsafe the school district has become. My son walks a track and random people are on the track. Like they shouldn't even be on the school property during school hours. The Freetown Lakeville School Superintendent Alan Strauss sent a letter home to parents on Thursday telling them that there was no threat to any student or teachers in this situation, but he did stress this serves as an important reminder of how school safety protocols could be reviewed and possibly enhanced. Some parents telling us that's just not enough. I think this is insane that this should have that this happened. While Farish Churchill says she had no ill intent, another parent fears what could have happened had it been someone else. Ever since, you know, Sandy Hook, you know, that, that was, it, it, it's always triggering. These mothers are urging school officials to put stronger safety protocols in place. Parents have gone unheard for too long. We've had enough. From Freetown, I'm Tiffany Chan, WBZ News.